Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and also thank you so much for liking my previous videos and showing so much love and subscribing to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shivali and today I'm going to teach you how to do a very easy day to night makeup look. I'm sorry in advance if the lighting of this video is a little weird because actually it is. I was having some troubles with the lighting. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like this video, share and subscribe to my channel so that you're updated about my new videos. I've got a lot of new videos coming up soon. So yeah, please subscribe and like. Okay, so starting off with the eyes, I'm using a brown kind of a color from my palette and I'm putting that in my crease. You can use any brown color you have, you can use any palette you have, you don't have to restrict yourself. Then take a brown cream liner and put that with a very small brush just as if you are putting an eyeliner. It does not have to be neat or anything because we will blend this out, just put it as if you are putting an eyeliner. Then take a fluffy blending brush and just blend the entire cream liner that you just put. I will put all the description, all the details about the products I have used in the description bar below. So please check that out. Next time taking this super shiny lavender eyeshadow from Makeup Obsession. I love this. You can see the amount of shine it creates. I like using it as an eyeshadow as well as a highlighter. So I'm putting that on top of my brow bone as well as on my eyelids. I'm just packing on the color and it's a beautiful lavender shiny color. So after that quick eye makeup, we move on to the face. This is the color bar primer. Next I'm using my pack foundation, I'm in the shade 1.3, you can use any foundation you have, you can use a light coverage, a full coverage foundation, I like using a full coverage foundation, so you can use your foundation and put that all over your face. Then I'm taking my favorite Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm just concealing my under eye circles and any blemishes which I have on my face. Then I'm taking my compact powder and setting my face. You can even use a loose powder if you want. Just use anything you have in hand and set your face. So I'm going in for some bronzing. This is a daytime look which is why I'm keeping everything very soft and natural. So just light bronzing. Then go in with some blusher and put that on the apples of your cheek to look fresh in the daytime. Then I'm taking the same brown color which we used in the crease and I'm just smoking out my lower lash line a little bit. I'm not using any kajal today because this is a daytime look right now. So just smoking out with light brown color. And to finish off the eye look, I'm using my favorite Maybelline Fan Effect Mascara and putting that on my lashes. Then I'm using my pack liquid lipstick and again I will put the shade name in the description box below. And this is the final daytime look so let's just jump into how you can change this look into a nighttime look with just a few products. Then I'm taking a black instead of a brown color and I'm smoking out my lower lash line really well as I want to intensify the eye makeup really nicely for the night. I am putting that same black color on my upper eyelid as well but I'm not extending it towards the inner corners just on the outside area to give a smoky look. Then I'm taking that same uh, sparkly color from Makeup Obsession and I'm really packing the color. I really want my eyelids to shine at night. Then I'm really contouring my face and giving my face a very chiseled look with that same contouring bronzing color which we used in the daytime.
then this step is optional but you can really intensify your highlighter that you put i am using makeup revolution pro illuminate and i am already i have put a lot of highlighter in the daytime but i'm really intensifying my highlighter as well then i'm just removing the liquid lipstick from the daytime i'm using micellar water on a wet wipe and it comes off very easily Then I'm using my Wet n Wild liquid lipstick. The shade will be in the description box below and a review for this will be out very soon. So stay tuned and I'm just putting that on top of my lips. So this is the final look. I actually did this look recently. This was just an on the spot uh, look that I created and I posted a photo on my Instagram and I asked many of you if you want to see this look and you guys said yes. So this is for all of you guys and if you did not check my posts then please follow me on my Instagram so that you're updated about my new posts and everything. And yeah, I hope you learned something from this uh, tutorial as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!